Sheila, did you hear everybody talking about the power of manifestations? Yes, everyone talks about it. In fact, I saw some ads, retail ads for some television or washing machine, which is also talking about manifestation. Isn't that great? How nice, no? Yeah. Somebody is talking about it on television. But, but, but mm. people who have been uh, using these manifestation techniques, they have, some of them have given up. I hear so many people saying, ah, this doesn't work. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. How to make manifestation work for you. And become a master manifester. But before that, intro please. Yes. Hi there. You're listening to Spirituality Sideshow, where the weird meets the wonderful. Hit it. So, Sheila, let me begin with a little example of uh, a very small manifestation, very simple that I did the other day. And it works like a charm. So, I was getting a little upset that I'm waking every day very late. So, I told the universe, wake me up at 6 o'clock. <laughs> and then the spiral started. I said, I have to sleep early. I have to eat early. I have to walk early. Blah, 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 blah. So, I told the universe... Cut it all out from my mind and do what is right for you to wake me up at 6 o'clock. And sure enough, early next morning I woke up and I saw the time. It was exact 6 o'clock. It was not 5.59. It was not 6.01. And I was so happy with my manifestation powers that I put my blanket on and slept again. <laughs> but the point is that yeah. it is so easy. But can I tell you something, Geetika? We are manifesting every single day. So we already are master mm -hmm. manifestors? We are master manifestors. What is happening in your life is a result of what you've been thinking about. So whether it is good, whether it is bad or whether it's ugly, we are master manifestors and we are man manifesting every day. Now, so am I manifesting all these extra pounds in my body? <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, The question here is, how do we manifest those things that we really, really, really want? And how do we not manifest those not so nice things that we are getting so easily in our life? The, those stress, conflicts, extra pounds. How do we not manifest those? That is the question, right? Right, right. And, uh, you know, while we watched the movie The Secret, mm -hmm. I think it really brought out the whole aspect of law of attraction mm -hmm. and manifestation out. And if you actually see the movie very deeply now and a couple of times, you will notice that the movie itself is divided in a couple of parts, mm -hmm. which is telling you what is the format you need to follow. Very clearly it's telling you do this first, then do this first, then do this first. So let's today... Talk about those five things that you need to do to manifest what you really want. And also at the end, we like to talk about things that you should not do that are actually manifesting something very uncomfortable in your life. Okay, so step one in the manifestation process is actually to set very, very, very clear intentions. Now, what do I mean by intentions? Intentions are not those um, nandi pabi. I wish to have more money in my life. I wish to be 10 kilos lighter. No, that, those are not intentions. They are just dreams that you have. So you have to set your clear intent of what you want to come in your life. And then the most important step, which we forget, is to work on it. So step number one is actually writing down what you want in clear positive terms not your i don't want i want and i really really want i really 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 want that is your intention so i can't say i don't want my mother in law to come on my honeymoon <laughs> i should say only me and my husband should have a wonderful honeymoon yes wonderful perfect that's a that's a great example <laughs> And now moving on to step two, cultivating a positive mindset. So while you push push out the intention in the air, you cannot go like, how will this happen? How will it make, you know, how will it manifest? How, what will I do? What will I have to do? You can't keep worrying about it. I think one of the very nice things that Abraham X says, and Abraham X is a wonderful law of attraction teacher. Abraham X says is that, Enjoy, dream about it, enjoy the feeling of it manifesting for you, you know. Yes. 
really really feel it in your heart and feel so positive as if it's already done okay now i have an objection here because when you say be positive be positive we cannot always be positive of course right but what we have to keep in mind is while you, there will be ups and downs one of the things that geetika spoke about which is a very important thing is don't worry about the how it will happen yeah. which is where our negativity seeps in your job is to be clear about the why you have set an intention why do i want it i want freedom why do i want it it will give me peace why do i want it it will allow me to help a larger number of people whatever it is your why is go down five levels of why 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 and then that's where your focus should be not on how is all this going to happen but isn't how our mind is always trained in school also they give you a problem and they say solve x find x yeah. and you're always worried about how 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 so probably that's where we need a little reconditioning it is it is because just like this you know this is my favorite statement just like how you train your dog you have to train your mind yeah you have to continuously be very alert and catch the times that you are slipping yeah into your old pattern of thinking because your old pattern of thinking is going to get you old results if you want new results you have to reframe the way you're thinking in your mind and look at the world through new specs okay moving on to step 3 which is practicing visualization and emotional alignment la, 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 la. what does it mean gitika <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> so i think this is in continuation of what i was saying earlier is to feel the manifestation of it so for example if i want to go on a trip okay i say that i want to manifest a trip to the maldives how am i going to feel about it if i keep saying that oh my god i've become so fat how will i fit in a bikini how am i going to go how many bags do i need to carry number one how eliminate number two feel if as if you're already there visualize that you're sipping a sangria on the beach or you know feel that happiness and joy of what you will feel when you're actually there you're right because um, see one thing you have to remember is your brain does not know what is real and what is a fantasy so if you're visualizing your intention you have to actually feel it in your body how will you feel when that which you want in your life has manifested going with uh, geetika's example of going to maldives how are you going to feel where is that excitement feel that excitement yeah. feel that complete relaxation when you will be on the beach sipping her sangria no no don't sip her sangria get your own <laughs> and then what happens here so when you start feeling it you have to feel it first before you see it in your life there's a very beautiful book by wayne dyer which is you will see it when you feel it so yeah. you have to first see it then you will see it in your life it starts here before it manifests in your right. life right and you know the very funny thing is that in the book secret they talk about uh, this experiment that was conducted on elite athletes okay mm. who are participating on the olympic races and uh, they were while they run on the track their heart rate was monitored and then they were asked to sit in a simulation area where they were supposed to sit close their eyes and visualize that they are running on the track you can't believe their heart rate actually went as high as them when they were actually running yes so your mind is actually yeah. putting your body through the same emotion mm. so imagine i'm actually feeling like i'm sipping a sangria in maldives right now and don't forget the bikini the yeah of course so <laughs> so uh, and that's what one of my friends used to do you know she used to photoshop herself in a situation where she wants to be and put it all over the house you know so it's almost like already done so i think that process is a lot of fun also because people make vision boards yeah. people do a lot of uh, walking around writing journaling i used to uh, you know write a meditation and do it for myself record a meditation for myself and do it on myself feeling that okay i'm there how am i feeling and so on so it's a very fun step to be in so now step 4 is the hardest which i have never been able to grass but i think we'll take sheila's help for that the step 4 is taking inspired action not any action inspired action sheila what does it mean when the secret had come out 
there was a very, uh, it was just a small three-step process. Ask, believe and receive. I was very excited. I said, okay, I need a few uh, millions in my bank. All I have to do is ask, believe that it will come. You know, the step two and step three that we spoke about, believe that it will come and then enjoy it. I waited, believing, visualizing, but it didn't happen. Why? And that's when I found the actual secret in these three steps. There is one slight step, sneaky step in between, which is a very important one. Now imagine you want to become an Olympic swimmer. You can think about it. You can believe that you're going to become an Olympic swimmer. But unless you start getting into the pool and practicing your swimming, swimming, nothing will happen, right? And that is what's meant by inspired action, yeah. not desperate action. Yeah. You need money, there are desperate actions that you take. Who, who are the people who have to pay you back now? Who are the new clients that you can get? What, what all can I all, sell? What all can I sell to make that money? That is desperate action. Needy actions. You are in a relationship and you are stalking your partner. You are going and knocking at their door all the time. You are always on WhatsApp, sending them messages or looking to see when they were last on online. You know, these are desperate actions when you want to be in a relationship. Now, instead of taking desperate actions, we take inspired actions, where the actions are taken from a space of confidence that this is going to manifest. But the word action, the first part is act, which means you have to get off your butt. You have to get out of that couch and start doing things to see the results that you want in your life. Yeah, manifestation is easy. Uh, everybody says that. Of course, it's easy. But... Uh, you know, it doesn't eliminate the point of hard work. No. It's just eliminating the point of stress that you take while doing the hard work. Very well said. Yes. When you do your actions with joy, when you do your actions feeling that, you know what, this will manifest. And all I have to do is, I have to get rid of the how will it manifest, where will it come from. Just concentrate on my why and be in the flow. Like Abraham Hicks says, be in the flow. It has to manifest. And which brings us to the last point and the most important point. Yeah. Step five, release attachment and surrender to the process. I think this is the most beautiful aspect of this whole process. And it's not just the law of attraction that is talking about surrender and releasing attachment. Bhagavad Gita talks about it. Uh, Bible talks about it, Quran talks about it, that you leave your problems to me and I will take care of you, right? That's what Bible says, that's what we've heard, you know, Krishna talk about. And there is a very beautiful serenity in the word surrender. My 20-year-old nephew gifted me this book called The Surrender Process. How I'm so glad that somebody his age is reading such books. And the book just purely talks about while you're drowning in an ocean, stop your hands and legs stop kicking the water stop trying to stay afloat and just breathe do you see the difference when you stop trying to kick hard you will rise up and float and that is the simplest way of explaining what surrender means yeah. i want 10 lakh rupees today and i continuously like sheila said try to make desperate attempts go to this go to that person okay this person says no this person says no and then you start doubting the whole process you say that, okay, no, no, doesn't look like uh, this manifestation process works because I don't have 10 lakh in my hand. Point is, you have to just let go of trying to figure out how. And the first part was, let go of the attachment. You know, because when you feel that it's already happened to you, when you feel that it's already within your life, whatever you wanted, you will lose attachment, right? You wanted to get 10 lakhs. When you get 10 lakhs, you let go no, of the need of wanting 10 lakhs anymore, right? So that's what you have to do now. Release the attachment and surrender completely. Think of ideas that come to you, take those actions and let it flow. I think that is the most beautiful yeah. part of the step. And I think that is the most goofed up part of the step <laughs> process. Yes, because very often people mistake surrender for giving up. Yeah. Surrender is not giving up. Surrender is resting in the total knowledge that everything is always working out for you. Yeah. Everything is 
always working out for you. So Louise say very nicely put for this step is that when you put a seed in the soil, after every five minutes, you don't dig in and try and see what has happened, what has happened. You trust the process of nature and you know that once you water the seed for 10 days, 12 days, 15 days, it will start sprouting roots and it will, uh, the stems will come out and you will see the flower at the end of the day. Yeah. And that is the process that you have to go through. And that's why they say the journey yes. is as important as the destination, right? Yeah. The, the I like this analogy of seed being planted in it and you're not digging it up. Now I also want you to know that sometimes when you give it all the resources, when you water it and there is enough sunlight, sometimes the seed may not grow. And when you say surrender, surrender is also being yeah. okay with whatever result comes in your life. Yeah. That's a very important step. There is this one thing that Nitya Shanti always keeps saying that Man chahe ho to achha, man chahe na ho to aur bhi achha. Five steps of manifestation. Of course, you must read in more about it to imbibe these in your life. But there are some things that you should not do that are absolutely counterproductive to this process. And those are the ants. <laughs> Sheila, would you like to elaborate the ants? Do you have some ants in your life? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Ants are automatic negative thoughts. Whenever we are thinking of manifesting something in our life, <clears throat> our mind automatically goes and picks up all the negative things that can happen. This again is a childhood conditioning where we were taught that, you know, whenever you're starting a big project, first look at all the things that will go wrong. Childhood is gone. Okay. Yeah. No more looking back at the past. New life, new thoughts. New journey, new thoughts. New manifestations, new belief systems start putting in new positive beliefs let go of the old manifestation process sounds like a full bollywood dhamaka movie isme achai hai isme maldives hai isme rona dona hai again going back to your um, seed analogy for any seed to grow it needs darkness yeah. so whenever you're manifesting some, something when you're thinking of something new when you planted new intentions there will be those automatic darkness which comes mm -hmm. in. But you have to remember, they are opportunities for growth. And let's welcome them. With that, we end our episode for today. Catch you in the next one. Write in the comments of if you have any doubts about the process, Sheila and I can be contacted. And uh, let's see how well it happens for you. Maybe you manifest something and share it with us. And if it's 10 lakh rupees, we would love some share. <laughs> yeah, the you. bank account details are <laughs> in the comment section. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, very much. Thank you so much. See and you. Manifest our next episode, please. See you. Bye.